This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. It also has a good question about some of the sillier moves uh, in wrestling, like the people's elbow or the five knuckle shuffle. Do you have any thoughts on, on the entertainment aspect of those moves being, I don't know, quote unquote, devastating or finishing maneuvers? Well, as long as everyone understands what they are, you know, you, the hard ass in me, the guy that grew up in this business wants everything to be at least on the surface, legitimate, look legitimate, feel legitimate. If you get jarred around a little bit, so be it. That's what we do. Uh, but that's part of the entertainment part of these guys, you know. You know, the the rock part of his routine is, is lighthearted, you know. Same thing with Cena, you know. they got to put a little bit of entertainment in there. That's, that's what they do. That's what makes you feel good about them is they entertain you a little bit. I, you know. We all have our preferences, and uh, everything can't be a kill shot, but uh, I see where he's coming from. Yeah, I mean, listen, uh, as silly as it may have been, yeah. people loved it. Uh, last one from Michael. This is an interesting one. He's going to say, you've got to make a choice here. And I think you'll have fun with this. A, a scaffold match. B, you are the glacier gimmick. Or C, you're the honorary member of three count. What would you pick? Wow. <laughs> what does he want? Why don't he just still get 10 foot hold and have me jump in it and cover me up? Arn as, as Glacier fucking makes me laugh out loud almost as much as you and Hurricane Helms dancing together. Well, I listen, I could do a boogaloo if I need to do. That's not a big <laughs> deal. And a slow moving block of ice, which is the way. I think the voiceover went when they were trying to promote Glacier, a slow moving chunk of ice. <laughs> I could pull that off. <laughs> That's about what I am, a slow moving something. I don't know if it's a block of ice or what, but these days I could pull that off. Whose clothesline was nastier? Stan Hansen or JBL? Probably Stan. JBL's was, from what I saw, nice and snug. Stan, who I don't think the rib is, he can't see that well. Right. I think that might be a rib from Stan because everyone he throws looks like a decapitation. I'm sure if you move it up an inch or two, you're going to be having a broke jaw or some teeth missing. If you move it down an inch or two, you may have a cracked sternum, but, uh, everyone I've seen looks vicious and I'm sure talking to the guys that have worked with them in Japan, they look exactly the way they are. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.